and a shout there and he's given well taken by Salim Yusuf and that's uh, a good reward for some excellent bowling so the uh, the move of coming around the wicket to the right-hander has worked for Wazi Makram they desperately needed that wicket Marsh getting a thick edge on this one the ball angling in a long way and then just holding up a little bit of magnificent delivery really it's hard to get them to move when you bowl at that sort of angle it hit the outside edge nicely taken and uh, Marsh is out he really has struggled through this innings so now they've got a new batsman in it's a new ball game for them as David Boone takes guard it's getting very warm here in Melbourne bright sunny afternoon it's going to be hard work for the bowlers out and the reason for that is that he was coming around the wicket slanting in to David Boone and that is absolutely fatal just to shove your pads at the ball these days the way the LBW law is yes the law says you must play a shot and strike her outside the line he's around the wicket and that's going to certainly hit middle and off and was a on a hat trick at the Melbourne cricket ground and all of a sudden it's two for 90 and the 16 or 17 thousand people here now on the edge of their seats Boone out for a duck first ball it's 2 for 92, 43 overs gone. This is the hat-trick ball. And uh, for Alan Board, there's going to be four slips and a goal in a short leg. It could be a wonderful moment for Wazza Macram in the Melbourne cricket ground. Well, you won't be any closer to a hat-trick than that in your life, my boy. What more can you do? He's beaten the outside edge all day. He's got Alan Border playing and missing, went straight through to the keeper played inside it in fact trying to find the outside edge was a Macram misses out on a hat-trick 